Hello and welcome back to News Minutes, the 2nd of November and right now it's time for a quick general gaming news update. First up, something I'm extremely excited about, considering I'm a huge fan of the Longest Journey series. Funcom has announced that Dreamfall Chapters, the long-awaited by many sequel to Dreamfall, has gone into pre-production at Red Thread Games, a new studio founded by Ragnar Turnquist himself. Here's a quick history lesson for those that perhaps don't know all about it. Dreamfall, the second and until now kind of final game in the Longest Journey series ended on somewhat of a cliffhanger and most that played it expected a sequel and soon that was back in 2006 a year or so later in 2007 dreamfall chapters was announced but nothing ever came of it the game never even entered production and in the following years there were mentions here and there but nothing solid now here we are five years later with signs of life and I couldn't be happier. Sadly, all we know about the freshly re-announced Dreamfall chapters is what was said all those years ago. That it would be similar to Dreamfall in terms of gameplay and that the story would pick up right where Dreamfall left off or even just before that. One pretty comforting mention of this whole announcement, to me at least, not being a secret world player, is that Ragnar Turnquist stepped down as game director of the secret world and took the position of creative director, mainly to devote more time to Dreamfall chapters. It was also mentioned that the pre-production of the game has already been funded and he plans to organize a Kickstarter campaign to finance the bulk of it. We've been told to look out for more information in the coming months. If that announcement somehow wasn't enough for you and you want to do even more reading about the lot of this, the guys from over at Rock Paper Shotgun have an absolutely huge interview up with the man himself. In it he discusses Dreamfall and this most exciting of announcements, the secret world and a whole bunch of other stuff. Check it out and enjoy. Oh, and if you're looking to try either The Longest Journey or Dreamfall out, I hear they're readily available on GOG.com. That and they're actually well worth playing. Now in the only other news I'm covering today, CSGO is free to play this weekend on Steam. From today all the way through till Monday, you can download it and play to your heart's content without paying a cent. So if you have yet to pick the game up for yourself and wanted to give it a try, well, now's your chance. If you're new, I'd heartily recommend trying the arms race mode out as it is a whole lot of fun. If you decide you like the game, it is quite conveniently also on special right now and selling for 33% off. Watch the trailer right here on YouTube, download the game on Steam, jump onto those servers, and most importantly, happy killing those terrorists. Or counter-terrorists, I guess. I actually generally prefer to play as CTs for the pistol more than anything. I don't know, I really like having a solid first round, but then you could argue that one could just get the deagle because that thing really does have a kick. Oh, right, the news. <laughs> Let's check a couple of smalls out. There are a whole bunch of reviews out in the wild of Halo 4, all pretty good. We can expect a second GTA 5 trailer soon and some of the pre-order bonuses have been revealed. Yet another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 trailer, this one titled Welcome to Nuketown 2025. Total Biscuit has a WTF is of Primal Carnage up and lastly, the Rock Paper Shotgun guys have their hands-on impressions of scrolls up. That's it for this episode, we're having some serious internet issues here so the uploads may well be a a little slow for the next day or two just a warning but check back here soon for more anyway like the video and do all that other good stuff and most importantly happy dreamful chapters happy that